This video will show you how to apply for a job with the City and County of San Francisco. The City and County of San Francisco has recently changed their job application website. To apply for jobs at the City and County of San Francisco, you can go directly to careers.sf.gov. From this website, you can browse current job openings by searching by keyword or department. But let's say you don't remember that specific website. To get started, let's do a web search for SF jobs. The first thing you will see is some job listings. This is not what we are looking for. Scroll down until you see the link that says Careers with Purpose, City and County of San Francisco. That will take you to the website careers.sf.gov, which is the site we are looking for. You can also click on the link that says Job Seekers, Department of Human Resources sfdhr.org or the link that says City Jobs SFGov. It takes you to sfgov.org. Both are city websites, but they will not take you directly to the city job application forms like careers.sf.gov will. This is the careers.sf.gov homepage. From here, you will find out about the hiring process, benefits, and career pathways. You can also see the city's current job openings by browsing through a sample of the city's current job postings or search by keyword or department. For this example, we will search for the job openings using the keyword librarian. You can do a search using any keyword you choose. Once you type the keyword, click the blue search button. Scroll down to find a list of current job openings. As an example, we will click on the job posting for Librarian 1 listed here. Before you apply for a position with the city, scroll through the About section. This tells you a little bit about the department in which this job is located. The Roles Description section tells you about the job itself. Make sure you also read through the How to Qualify section of, of the job posting. This lets you know the educational and certification requirements for each position. Desirable qualifications are qualifications that, while not absolutely required, have been identified by the department as being important for someone who has this job. Remember that some positions will require you to take an exam to be eligible for the position. Be sure to check out the What Else Should I Know portion of the job posting to see information about the job's pay and the application deadline. If, after reading through all this information, you are still interested in applying for the position, click on the blue Apply Now button at the top or the bottom of the job posting. The SF Careers website has an easy apply option. If you have a resume already formatted and completely updated, this might be a good option for you. To use this feature, click on the Browse Resume. A pop-up will appear for you to select your resume. Select your resume and click Open. Once you do, you will see that the form has been auto-filled with the information from your resume. However, you will see that not every box on the form is populated and that some of the boxes have a red explanation mark next to them. Make sure you go back through the job application to make sure everything is filled out correctly and completely. A note about the place of residence section. Write the city you reside in, not your street address. If you don't have a resume to upload, that's okay. You will just have to fill out the entire form manually. Regardless of whether you use the Easy Apply manual or Manual Entry option, be prepared to fill out the application all at once. It may take some time. You'll notice that this application form uses the Auto Fill function. Be mindful when you are filling out the application that you don't accidentally click on a suggestion that isn't what you meant. Make sure you have everything in this section filled out before you move on to the next section. In this video, we are going through what the manual entry looks like for every section, just so you have an idea of what each section of the form looks like. In the Experience section, you only need to write the name of the city where your employer was located, not the street address. Your description of your job experience only needs to be one or two sentences. Select the month and year of the start and end dates for each of the positions you are listing under experience. 
You will see that to fill out dates in the experience and education sections, you must click on the calendar icon and select the month and day from there. Make sure you click save after each position you enter. Add in your education information under the education section, such as your high school or any college education you may have. This on the web section does not have any asterisks or red stars, so you do not have to put anything in these boxes. If you have a resume and want to add it, you can do that in the following section. The message to the hiring manager section is also optional. In this section, called preliminary questions, the questions are required. You will select your answers from a drop down menu for the first two and you will fill in your answer for the third question, in which area of study was the major coursework of your highest level of education? The option for years of verifiable experience range from less than one year to six plus years. The options for highest level of education completed range from high school GED to graduate schools, apprenticeship, journeyman, training, or certification program. If none of these options fit your situation, select Other. There is also a box in this section where you can identify the number of semesters, quarter units, of coursework from an accredited college or university you have completed. In the next section, a little more about you, there is a space for you to add any languages other than English that you might speak, read, and or write. You will first have to write the name of the language you speak, then write it again in the following box and then select your proficiency from the drop-down menu. If the job announcement for the position you're applying for requires additional documentation as part of the application, upload these documents here using the Add Attachment button. Once you are done adding all the required attachments, click Yes. Click Yes or No to the questions regarding your veteran and right to work in the United States status. All persons entering the workforce of the city and county of San Francisco are required to present a proof of work eligibility in the United States. The final section is the certification section. Because the application is completely online, filling out this section by typing your full legal name and the date in the boxes serve as your electronic signature. Next, scroll to the gender, race, and ethnicity section of the form and select your gender and race ethnicity from the drop-down menus. This section is required. If you have any questions about how to fill out the race and ethnicity sections, please consult the definitions provided by the city and county. The next section, Next Steps, gives you some information on what will happen with your application after you filled it out. You're almost done! Click the box next to the statement Please be informed that your application to any city job through this online system will trigger some processing of your personal data by the recruiting company, the Data Controller. Smart Recruiters, the Data Processor, has no control over such personal data processing. For more information about this personal data processing, please refer to the recruiting company's privacy policy. After clicking Submit, you might be asked to complete a puzzle selecting all the squares that contain images, for instance, stairs. This is a security measure. Once your application has been submitted, you will get a green notification. You will also be prompt to create a smart profile. You are encouraged to create a smart profile so you can track your job application status, communicate with the hiring team, and control your data privacy setting. Please also check your email for a message that will provide information about further next steps in the application process. Congratulations! You have completed your application for a job with the City and County of San Francisco. Best of luck! This video was created by the San Francisco Public Library. For more job hunting resources, visit the Business Science and Technology Center on the fourth floor of the main library 
or any of the 28 library branches located throughout the city. Remember, the library has public use computers and free Wi-Fi as well. The San Francisco Public Library, we're here to get you there.